As head teacher at Catcote Academy and Catcote Futures, I want all our students to lead happy and fulfilled lives. We like to offer as many opportunities as possible to our students, regardless of their ability, getting our children best prepared for adulthood in the world of work. Only 6% of young people with special educational needs and disabilities actually get opportunities in life. This is why business partnerships matter so much to us. By working together we can improve student motivation and their aspirations that could change their lives forever. In the future I would like to be a teacher assistant. I would like to get a job to earn money and serve customers. Try to set up my own business. If it wasn't for the YEI I wouldn't be going back to college to get qualifications to become a teacher assistant. So it's helped a lot because otherwise if it wasn't for that I wouldn't have been able to do it. I would like to be a security guard to help local like police. In the future I want to be a full time, then okay. You never give up that one. My impression of what the work Capcourt have done so far, I think it's absolutely phenomenal. And give them the best opportunities and best life chances that they possibly can. I've got nothing but uh, commendation for the work that Capcourt are doing. Business and Enterprise has been a, an embedded strand, a strategy at Capcourt Academy for many, many years. We've divided our enterprise into different skills and then divided them skills down into levels of ability within them skills. Enterprise commandments that we designed for the students as personal and thinking skills were quickly adopted by the staff. It's applicable to everyone in work, I believe. Taking our newly agreed European skills and working with employers, ensuring we hit the targets required in the world of work. For children who have complex needs, a big part of their curriculum is their engagement with people their engagement with objects, resources and activities and their understanding of events, what's happening around them, what's going to happen now, what's going to happen next, and in order to improve their confidence and their preparation. We have a programme of internal placements, supported, safe spaces. We have our own cafe, we have our own salon and so on. So the students are well prepared and trained and then they're more prepared to make that transition into the real world of work to, to go out into the community. When Christopher came to Catcourt, his confidence wasn't brilliant. He was quite a shy young man and the change in him is just remarkable. And this is all down really to the work experience and placements that he's been allowed to do. What he said to us when he said he was going to be earning a wage and yeah. employed, it was such a big thing, wasn't it? Because I think it's one of the most important things to, to young adults he, with LD, that, that, that you know, they want yeah. to be part of society. For many of our students with profound severe complex difficulties, we have a cafe in town, we have a retail outlet in town, so that is a real work experience for our students to show off their skills. What the school's doing is putting students in the front line of retail. I see this as being groundbreaking, not just for Cat Cup School, but for the retail industry. We as an organisation help Cat Cup School to demonstrate to the world what they're capable of. And that was from there, that. 45% of employers are really anxious about recruiting people with disabilities and I think that's people with disabilities they can see, let alone ones they can't see. I would say just listen to the testimony of current employers. We have uh, a couple of students that come up every uh, Thursday um, and they work in our kitchen. The values uh, that we have as an organisation uh, absolutely meet what Capco are doing. Any difficulties that we've come across, they've always been there, uh, but I can't say I've actually had any. We were approached by Capco Academy um, asking if we would be willing to take on a student um, to do some, some work during the week. We decided it would be a good idea and we've never looked back. She brings to the table what any other member of staff brings to the table. Since Kim started with us last September, I've seen Kim's confidence grow phenomenally. Kim settled in like any other staff member, right? Absolutely superb. And is seen as part of the team, so she's no different from anybody else that works for us. It's been really good having Emma on a wax placement during the recycle, and she's been with us over a year now. You can really see the benefits that it's bringing to her and to our staff. Anyone has the potential 
to achieve what I can achieve. This is about focusing on what people can do, not what they can't do. You just stand out as a school, getting employers on board, the results that you're getting with students. Really, you can show the rest of the country what to do to this. So it's very, very important um, that we develop those strong links with our local businesses. Let us show you what they can do. If people are unsure about taking on uh, young people with special needs, I'd say definitely. And I'd say definitely from Cat Code Academy because they give them so much support and they've given us so much support in bringing them through. And now, you know, it's just a standard member of staff. No different now. I would encourage any and all employers to get involved um, with the scheme. I would be willing to do this again and again because it's been so successful with Alice. You do get a lot of reward from being able to help somebody. And it just shows that everybody's actually got a part in society. Focus on what we can do. Focus, Focus on what, what we can, can do. do. Not what we can't. <laughs>